Topic. Cranks and pulleys. A all complex. Machinery consists of. Combinations of. Simple mechanisms. Machines can be. Designed to give the. User a mechanical. Advantage. Introduce learners to. Cranks and pulleys. Mechanisms. Machines are usually made of simple mechanisms connected together. Why are mechanisms useful? They help us to move things further, faster, or more easily. They can also change the direction of movement. In term one, you learned about a mechanism called a lever. You also learned about mechanical. Advantage, ma. Mechanical advantage is the ability of a mechanism to make work easier. It reduces the input or effort force so that the load is easier to move. Most machines are a combination of six simple but effective mechanisms. Lever, incline plane, skrev, wheel and axle, wedge, pulley. We are going to focus on the pulley and crank. Pulley. A pulley is a wheel with a groove in it. Picture right. A rope or belt fits into the groove. How do you use pulley? See the picture. On the left, you pull the rope, the rope slides on the pulley, turning the wheel and the load is lifted. The pulley makes it possible for the rope to change the direction in which the rope pulls. When the man pulls down on the rope, he can lean with his weight on the rope to make it easier to pull the bag up. But there is no mechanical advantage in this situation. If a person uses two pulleys to lift a weight, picture right, one pulley wheel is connected to the ceiling. The second pulley wheel hangs on a loop of rope. The two pulleys and the way the rope is wrapped around both pulleys forms a pulley system. The pulley system makes it easier to lift a load. Two pulleys connected to a single piece of rope, as shown in the picture, will give mechanical advantage. The crank, a crank, Picture on the right is an adaption of a second-class lever. Cranks have many uses. They are often found attached to mechanisms that are difficult to turn or rotate. A crank consists of a handle or arm attached at a right angle to a shaft. A crank increases mechanical advantage by increasing the distance between the handle and central shaft. This makes turning easier. Some examples of where cranks are used. Activity. The figure on the right shows a tower crane. These cranes are used to help us build high buildings. Tower. Cranes are tall, straight cranes that use ropes, pulleys, and winches to help people lift very heavy things, such as bricks and cement. They are made of simple mechanisms all working together. Use the picture of the tower crane to answer the questions. One, what do you think the main purpose of the crane is? Two, what do the pulleys do? Three, the crane needs to lift heavy things from different places on the ground. How does the trolley help people to lift things from different places on the ground? Four, why does the crane need to rotate to turn around an axis or a center point? Five, the jib has a fulcrum on top of the vertical column. It has an input force or effort from the diagonal cables, right at the top of the crane pulling the jib up and a load pulling the jib down. How do you know that the jib is actually a lever? Six, is the jib a first class, second class, or third class lever? How do you know? Seven, what stops the crane from falling over when it lifts something? Eight. Make a list of all the mechanisms on this crane that help it to lift loads. Nine, now make a list of all the parts that hold the crane up and keep it balanced so that it can lift things safely. Learners complete the activity. Memorandum. One, the main purpose of the crane is to lift objects that are too heavy to be lifted by people and move these objects to another place or another level. Two, the pulleys allow the cables pulling heavy objects to change the direction in which they are pulling. 
Note 2. The teacher. When pulleys are used in certain combinations, the resulting system of pulleys can give a mechanical advantage. 3. The trolley moves along the jib of the crane and so can position the hook above the loads. 4. The crane needs to rotate so it can reach loads in different places and then lift, rotate, and put them down where they are needed. 5. It has a fulcrum and an input force, effort, and an output force, load, is applied slash exerted around this fulcrum. 6. The jib can be used as a second class or a third class lever, depending on where the trolley is. Both the load and the effort are on the same side of the fulcrum. When the trolley is close to the fulcrum, the load is closer to the fulcrum than the effort of the cables at the top of the jib, so the jib is then used as a second-class lever. The jib then gives a mechanical advantage because a big movement of the effort is required to cause a small movement of the load. However, when the trolley is very far from the fulcrum, the load is further from the fulcrum than the effort, so the jib is then used as a third-class lever. The jib does not give a mechanical advantage then, but a distance advantage because a small movement of the effort is required to cause a big movement of the load. Note to the teacher, the jib does not really rotate around the fulcrum, but rather remains in a horizontal position. However, it is useful to think of what would happen if it did rotate in order to understand whether it gives a mechanical advantage or a distance advantage. 7. It is balanced on the opposite side by the weight of concrete blocks. 8. Pulleys and levers. 9. The heavy base, the tower, the jib that is balanced by the concrete weights, cables that supports the concrete weights and jib.